Hello, this is David Ferguson with MLC CAD Systems, and we're going to look at probably my favorite new feature in Mastercam 2024, the ability to save and load custom presets for your toolpaths. You heard me right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this a little bit backwards. I'm actually going to load in uh, some custom presets, and then I'll show you how to save them out uh, so you get the, sort of the full picture. So we're working on our project part here, and what I'd like to do, uh, again, I've got the part, got the, the vices, got some stock to find, got a little bounding box thrown up there. Uh, I just want to write a, a, a simple dynamic mill uh, just to remove some material. And dynamic mill is one of those tool paths in Mastercam, if you've used it, you know that sort of the default presets that that toolpath comes with or loads in with aren't necessarily really what you usually end up with. It's a toolpath with a lot of options, um, and I want to go ahead and save myself some time by having some of those options already selected. So I'm going to just jump up to my toolpath ribbon up top. I'm going to grab and fire off a 2D high-speed dynamic mill. Uh, I'm just going to use a basic outside strategy using my bounding box as my machining region right there. Uh, C-plane chain, just around that should work fine. Uh, for avoidance regions, I'll just do a simple solid loop chain here uh, around these feet here if I can get them. There we go. Oop, there we are. Uh, do a quick preview chains. Hey, that's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm happy with that. I'll get into the toolpath itself. Now, dynamic mill, again, like most toolpaths, and, and you can use this function on any toolpath in Mastercam that has, again, sort of the modern layout. So some of the old 3D toolpaths, you can't do this, but any of the new stuff you can, and most of what you're using. Uh, if I just kind of quickly look through the parameters here, you know, not a lot of this is really kind of the way I'd want it, right? So I'm going to go to my cut parameters first, and, you know, there's stock on the wall, 50 and 50. My step over isn't really what I'd want. The retract strategy may not be what I want. Um, I'm not using any pre corner pretreatment or depth cuts or anything like that stuff I, you know, may or may not be using frequently. Um, my linking parameters may or may not be all over the place, depending on what I'm doing. And for me, one of the critical things, my arc filter, uh, the thing that makes this toolpath uh, usable uh, on most machines is, is just not being used. And that's just the default settings that that toolpath has kind of always had. Um, and in the past, we've used export and import functions to sort of get around that uh, or change the basic defaults um, so they're a little closer. But what I can do now is, is kind of on another level, which is I can have different default values for different styles for toolpaths, just depending on what I'm cutting, based on tool, based on material, personal preference, whatever you want. So at the top of my toolpath dialog, I've got a couple of buttons up here, one that allows me to, to load toolpaths from a file and one that allows me to save toolpath parameters from a file. So we're gonna try the load first. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on this pull down and depending on where I'm pulling from, I can either load in my standard defaults, sort of reload, go back to the normal defaults, um, or go ahead and load in one that I've already got sort of saved. Um, if I want to, I can also click on that button to sort of get into uh, a little bit more of an elaborate dialogue over here on the left-hand side, which will allow me to choose potentially a different database. If I have it, I'm not finding the toolpath that I need or the presets that I need. I can pick a different database here and find them in there. Uh, but basically, I just have to choose, and depending on how many I have loaded in there, what I want to do. And I'm looking for, hey, that's the one I want, uh, a dynamic uh, with a uh, 400,000 step down, again, my own shorthand. Um, using a corner round um, with an arc filter. That's what I'd like to use. So I'm gonna select that and green check. And now when I go through the tool path and I look at say my cut parameters, uh, my stock to leave has changed, my step over has changed, right? Because that's what I have loaded with that. I'm now using my preferred corner pretreatment selection here. Uh, I've triggered my depth cuts. Again, these are all coming from just that save defaults file. Uh, my linking parameters may or may not, you know, need to be adjusted depending on what, what it was saved at. I'll, I'll take a look at that, those in a minute. Um, you know, desired entry motion. And for me, critically, uh, the arc filter is now turned on. And that toolpath is going to be a lot smaller, a lot easier to work with. Um, and again, I'm doing that simply by either, you know, clicking on the pull down here and picking the default value that I want or the set of defaults that I want to load in that toolpath. Or I'm clicking on that button to, again, go to a different database or, or choose it from here. Right, works really, really nicely. Right, just again, lets me load in stuff I've already done the hard work on. Now, 
that's sort of the second half of that, right? Loading in files that I've, you know, again, already sort of saved out. To save those, it's it's just, you know, kind of the same thing, just a little bit different. I'm gonna click on uh, my save parameters to a file. For example, let's say in this case, hey, you know what I'd really like to do is I'd, I'd like all these values to start uh, as incremental values and zero for whatever reason, right? I, I don't necessarily need um, a lot of uh, excuse to do this, right? I'm just, just making a change. This is how I'd like this toolpath to drop in, just maybe give me a little bit more flexibility in, in certain circumstances. So just making a change. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click up the save button here, save toolpath parameters to a file. That's gonna bring me back to this dialog. And what I can go ahead and do is I can go ahead and create a, a new group right there, add an operation, um, rename this, choose the database I'm going to, uh, and then simply save it out, okay? Uh, and basically what I'm doing there is, is just putting that in that database and then later on, I can recall that as just a separate default if I want to. Um, it works really well. Um, it's, it sort of takes the place, I think, moving forward of import and export. Um, but imagine being able to have your favorite toolpath with three or four different you know, configurations of your default files or your default settings so that when you open up that toolpath, you load that toolpath you know, for the first time, you know, you know what you're going to be doing with it. You can choose your default values from there, and it just puts you much closer to being finished from the beginning. Really lovely feature in 2024. It's going to be a big deal. So thank you very much.